So, as you know, um, AnyBeat was initially you know created with with a big push on pseudonymity and uh, and a, a place where you could have conversations um, not using your legal identity, and it was also a place where you could meet people outside of your social circle. You know, Facebook really limits you to talking to the people that you already are connected to um, and your social network. And we wanted to kind of uh, revisit the more of the MySpace kind of world or a Twitter world where you really can communicate to anybody if you have shared interests. Um, and for many of us that are using AnyBeat a lot, we love it and it's awesome. One of the consequences of focusing on pseudonymity and not being attached to your other online identities is that it can be, depending on how you use the site and what you want out of it, it, it may not serve you to tell your friends about it. So even if you love it, you want to keep it kind of out of the hands of the other people you hang out with on your social networks. And what that happens is that um, it makes it so that you don't have the network effect. You don't have people sharing, so you don't have people discovering the site. And so the growth um, wasn't as, as much as hoped or as uh, desired by the investors or, um, you know, from a business sense, you know, from a, from a, from a community sense, it, it feels active and fun and supportive and awesome. However, when we built it, it's built as a, a an international system. It's built to handle huge amounts of people and because of that, it is an expensive site to, to keep up. There's been some talk in the community like, well, wait, what if we all chip in? Would you be willing to do that? You know, we've got that plea that's kind of like the, um, the Wikipedia plea. And if we had the kind of reach of Wikipedia, then it, it could make sense that maybe individuals could help support it. But uh, the, 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 the economics just don't work. I mean, there's, there's really no way our community could support the costs right now. Um, unless one of you guys is crazy rich, in which case, um, I'd please send me an email. Um, so, as we're trying to figure out, well, what should we do? One of the things we did was we we've been leaning hard on the community, like, hey, spread the word. We really need more people to come, you know, check this out and have it grow. Um, and you've seen other changes, and you know, we're trying to add tools and do the other things. But another thing that came up through these conversations is we recognized that, well, a lot of people love the public square. They love the ability to interact with people all over the world based on interests, but they have a hard time keeping up on a new site. And so we're like, well, what if there was a public square for Facebook? And so MingleWing was born, a wing added to Facebook that you can mingle on. And, you know, and we, we tried to make it a little bit more pleasing on the eye, we tried to make it a little bit more graphical, we tried to make it a little bit more fun to use and easy to use, and because it uses Facebook commenting, you can just, if you use Facebook, you can just click to mingle wing, find something interesting, and comment immediately. There's no login at all. If you want to create a, a new conversations, you have to add the, the, the mingle wing app to your Facebook, which is, you know, just a click, but that's optional. Um, so, so far, it's been, you know, we launched it basically yesterday. I think it's awesome. I hope you guys are playing with it and enjoying it. And it, you know, it kind of, for people that are really into any beat, it may not be, I don't know, I'd love to hear. Do you think it's, it's a, it's a redundant or is it a totally different thing because you can talk differently? One of the things that I'm using it for when I'm discovering is that I often use Facebook to announce things and I want as many people as possible to know about like a new article or... Uh, an upcoming event, and if I do, if I post that to MingleWing, it does go to my Facebook page, so it touches all the people that I would normally talk to on my Facebook page. In addition, it has the potential to reach anyone who could be interested in that topic. So I think it's going to be a really exciting thing for people that like to talk to all their friends, but it's also messages that they want the world to know about, or conversations they want the world to know about. Um, it should be 
you know, I think that they, they serve two different, you know, they're, they're, they're in the same way that some conversations you have on Facebook are not for everybody, but some are. Some are not just for all your friends, but they're for all the people. All the people. Um, Fred F says he's liking it. Awesome, I've seen some of your posts already. Anime is saying that she, it, uh, it's visually better than what we have in any beat now. And, and that's, you know, I think that we're learning a lot of things uh, as we built Mingle Wing that hopefully we'll, we will integrate into any beat. And uh, Fred F also asked if there was going to be integration of the two. And um, I don't want to get into the details of how we think it's going to work because we're still trying to figure out how they all work. But that's one of the, the visions is that um, sometimes you want to comment on a conversation as your legal Facebook identity. And sometimes you might want to com jump into that same conversation but do it pseudonymously or anonymously or under your AnyBit account. And so we're going to try to make that kind of bridge as we move forward. Potentially, that will even allow people to understand the the dynamics of any beat better as they use Minglewing, kind of be a, a intermediate. Who knows? We're, we're you know this is this is a, um, a a grand experiment, and so far I think it's working awesome. And uh, so if you if you do like it, tell your friends, post in in Minglewing, and share it, and do all that stuff to 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 bring the peeps. If you're going to post something on, on Facebook, might as well. Oh, the other thing that's so, so cool is that we've got that um, Mingle Wing, uh, the Wing It button. So once you connected via Facebook, you know, you click uh, Create a Post, and then you can get the, the Wing It button. And the Wing It button means as you cruise the web, you can just click that, and it makes a new discussion for it in Mingle Wing as well as post it on your Facebook. So it really kind of makes the process and the, the, for using both a lot cooler and, and better and opens up to more people and I think it makes it more easier and more fun. And isn't that what we're looking for in an online experience? Um, moderation is going to be huge. Potentially. Hard to know at this time. Uh, you know, because people are using their Facebook identities, people potentially will watch what they say and do because it's, you know, this is linked to an account that, that you are responsible for. It's, you can't just create a dummy account you know, or, or be anonymous. You, it's, it's like as accountable as any beat except way more so if you care about your Facebook account. And a lot of people you know, do use Facebook and any very similarly. Maybe they use the same identity even. And so that's one thing as we've gone through this is that we've learned that many people use these sites in many different ways. And what works for one person doesn't for another. What somebody cares about, another person doesn't. Some things we thought that people would be extremely passionate about protecting have been a minimal care to a lot of people. And so we're trying to, to, to figure all this out. So thank you for your patience as we do all this. Anybody see Dimitri today on, uh, testifying before members of Congress about uh, his experience with uh, SOPA and or related cases when he, from his VO experiences? That was kind of cool. All right, well, if you um, have any questions or things you want me to sort out or address, uh, let me know in the chat room, or you can always send me a note on any beat, or if you want to start a thread on any beat and just let me know it's there, I'm happy to address things there as well. Um, apologize for not talking talking about this sooner. You know, as you may have guessed, it's been a little hectic as we rapidly have been developing Mingle Wing, um, but we'll we'll try to keep this conversation and dialogue going and 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 make sure everybody is at least a uh, you know a part of the dialogue. So I'm going to close off the archiving here and we can still chat if you want, but uh, if you're watching the archive, uh, thank you for your patience and understanding. Please have a blast on 
any beat, and or Mingle Wing, and or anywhere you want to go. Keep the questions coming and the suggestions and any sort of reports of, of uh, if there's bugs or anything. It's uh, this is we 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 grow and learn and experiment and play. Whee! Thank you.